Hey, hi all. In this video, we will be discussing about one of the feature functionality given by a Lightning Data Service that is updating a record. So, what are the different ways by which we can update a record, and what are the limitations in that? Uh, today, we will see that. So, first is as you can see on the screen, uh, we have created a Lightning component and added that component under custom tab. So we can use lightning record form to edit or to update a particular record using lightning data service in this there are two things like we can use full page layout we can set the attribute as full and we can set the attribute as compact so all the fields which are in compact layout will be available for updation or on that particular fields only we can edit a record then we have edit a record with a custom layout using lightning record edit form so in this we will define the fields which we want to edit and we can edit that it will use the standard layout or the look and feel which lightning or which is provided in salesforce lightning then the third approach or third the third way by which we can do this is by creating a customer user interface or, or a custom user interface by using force record data in this we can add and we, we can use HTML and all that stuff and uh, we can add or remove the fields and uh, how much size we want for that particular field value and how we want the text of that particular field label so that all things we can customize using force record data so let's see the code ones <coughs> so this is the code so first we have we are having like the attributes we will set we will set up some of the attributes they are like uh, our attribute record is of type object and then record error will be of string if there is any uh, error while updating a particular record that might be due to validation error or something and then we have lightning record form in this record id we will pass the record id which uh, on that particular uh, record or on which record we are the record id of that particular uh, record will be passed and then the object name uh, is account the layout type is compact if we will change it to full then we will see all the fields if it is compact the all the compact layout fields will be there and the, what is the mode the mode, it, mode should be edit then only we will be able to edit that fields okay the second way is lightning record edit form in this the record id we will get from that particular record on which we are right now so for an example we are on this record so this record id will be fetched and how this will uh, how this record id we will get so we will get this by using this interface so if any component is in uh, implementing this interface this means on whichever record you are the record id of that particular record will be captured by this interface then we can mention like uh, or we can specify what all fields we want on that particular uh, layout or thing so it is like uh, we want name uh, the name field and the industry field as you can see we have we are only having two fields one is account name and one is industry we can select that and we can click on update so it will be updated the record has updated so we can change it to communication we will update this so the update will take place and in this while we go down we have uh, <coughs> we have update like the submit button we submit operation we are using to submit all the changes what we have done in that particular record and then we are submitting it to the database then there is a data commit and the js is called and we get that particular toast message the record was updated okay. and there is one method uh, given by the uh, lightning data service that is to save a particular record we have to use this we have to find that particular record and then we have to just save that we have to call this function and uh, we have to pass the 
value and check the save result if it is success then if you want to do some operation we can do that if it is incomplete then if you want some uh, of the error or generalized error we want to showcase it to users so in that we can do and the third one is the more customizable or the custom user interface which we create usually for the business requirements or as per the business requirement so we have force record data the id is record handler and uh, the fields we have defined name billing city billing state and then target record is the record target fields are simple record means what all fields we we want to update that we can mention it then we want to display an edit form so we can name any the div, div tag any class name we can mention whatever we want then we can give it an icon and we can give it a title then the input will be account name and we will save that account the label of that will be save account variant will be brand and on click event we will call this handle save record so handle save record will be called <coughs> so and if there is any error so we can just showcase that error on the screen so that user will know if there is any validation error or if there is any data error which a user is facing so this this is the lightning record form the most customizable one thank you have a nice day that's all for this update